What's up guys? Today we're doing some more work on the 40 gallon behind me. Um, I've been playing with the idea, or I was playing with the idea like months ago, to um, pull out the ADA sand in the front layer, or the front section. If you saw the video of this tank first being set up, I'll put a link to it, I don't know where, like up here or something. There used to tag, so I don't know if I can point there. Um, but this whole section from here, in front of all this dragonstone, and all the way around back to around here, is ADA sand and then the contra soil I added just kind of layered over it over time fish kind of stirred it up and it just sort of fell it used to be a lot more sloped but um so today what I'm gonna do is I'm going to pull out all the sand um I'll show you how I'm doing that in a minute it's gonna take a long time uh, but we're gonna pull out all the sand and then add I have some kind of substrate under my bed it's like fluorite or something but I'm basically going to push the substrate back as far as I can and then put a layer of fluorite or whatever I have down and then bring this contra soil back over the top of that fluorite. Um, and then the whole point of that is that will allow me to add hair grass and Monte Carlo because I've been wanting to carpet the front of this tank for a while. Um, yes, it is a low light and a low light tank. Carpets will grow. It just won't look like a normal carpet, but I like the way it looks. So. Let's get to work. All right, so first things first, what I'm gonna try to do is essentially just kind of blow the top layer of substrate away. The sand is a lot heavier than the contra soil. Um, I'm gonna show I have a towel right here. I'll probably move my laptop. This is um, all ADA La Plata sand under here, which is the same sand that I have in the 75 gallon nature aquarium. So I'm gonna be adding that and there. I think this is, yeah, that looks like La Plata. So it looks like we got a tiny bit of in eco complete or eco incomplete as a lot of people call it. And we got a bunch of fluorite. Wow. Mm -hmm. Huh. That is a skink. That's really weird. Uh, okay. Alright, so I'm gonna throw in last of this eco complete just so we're not being wasteful and then we'll switch to the fluorite that's all powder in there okay. cool Now what I'm going to do is kind of push this stuff out of the way, push it back, and um, I'm going to pull some of these crypts up, I think. But I'm going to push this stuff back and then lay down the fluorite, like all in a layer where the sand used to be, and then push this stuff back, push the contra soil back over the fluorite, because I want to hide the fluorite as best as I can. <laughs> up this water change and then 
uh, I'll call it there today. And then tomorrow I'm going to go through and replant all these plants that kind of got pulled up, move some stuff around plant wise, and we will do a deep clean of the tank. Um, scraping all the glass, cleaning all the lily pipes and tubes, and we'll service all of the canister filters. But that's all for today, I think. It's a mess. All right, it's the next day. The tank has cleared up beautifully, so I'm gonna go ahead and do some maintenance. Uh, servicing the filters, cleaning the glass, stuff like that, replanting all these plants that came up, and we'll go from there. All right, so the first filter I cleaned was the Eheim. It's super easy to clean. Um, I'm not gonna show cleaning the other one, but um, yeah, so basically I opened the top nozzle on the top of the filter and then turned the bottom nozzle down into the toilet, opened it, kind of stirred it up and shook it up, and that pretty much eliminates all the waste. Of course, you have to squeeze out um, the fl filter floss or replace the filter floss, but basically I did that, drained the whole thing, grabbed some water from the tank, poured it back in, stirred up the top layer of Biomedia a little bit, and that shook up a little bit more stuff, and I shook the whole, I'm shaking the camera when I do it, but I mean, I shook this back and forth to kind of stir up the bottom sections and pressed down on the foam a little bit, and that disturbed all the other detritus and poop basically that was in there. So I did that a couple times, refilled the filter up to about here, stirred it up, drained it, and now it just runs pretty much clean. There's barely any left in there. But it just makes it so easy to clean these things. It's ridiculous. All right, so I scrubbed the back, all the sides, the front. I scraped as much of that um, BBA off as I could reach. Now that the um, filters are serviced, that's all gonna die off anyway, so it's not really a big deal that I missed a little bit. I just can't get my big hands back there. Um, and now I'm just doing another big water change. I know that's not a good thing for crypts, but the I stirred up a lot of stuff doing all this, and it's kind of a pointless, you know, to clean filters and then put filters right back on a super, super dirty tank with all that stuff flowing. It's just gonna go right back into the filter. So I'm trying to get rid of as much as I can before I turn the filters back on. Um, but yeah, other than that, I haven't really touched the plants. I haven't replanted. I pulled up the Crips Spiralis that was sitting over here. Those guys are just going to go right back in there. So I'm about to refill the tank, and I'll show you guys after. And the last thing I'm going to do is throw a bunch of root tabs in just to promote growth. I have a bunch of them left over. And this tank could really use <laughs> some root tabs because these Crips are growing really slow, and it's driving me kind of nuts. So I'm gonna go a little bit crazy with these guys. All right, so that is it. Uh, we clean the glass, clean the filters, clean the lily pipes finally. Those look all nice back there. You can barely even see them. Um, Obviously some of these plants back here look a little bit ugly, but I'm not gonna trim those yet. I'm just gonna let them kind of do their thing right now because I don't care about them and they'll probably be coming out. Um, I'm re referring to the high grow, obviously, not the crits. But yeah, I put like seven or eight uh, root tabs in there. So these guys should start to take off. It's definitely gonna be a little settling period because we just did two back to back, uh, like 85% water changes. Um, and I just put root tabs in there and moved some stuff around. Some of their root systems got damaged, but yeah, I'm thinking in a month or so, this tank is going to be finally starting to fill in and all that, all of this is just going to be crypted up and it's going to be amazing. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.